There's a lot on the line this weekend at Daytona. There's so much out of your control. You can get caught up in someone else's wreck so easily. And with the rain falling, the track's soaked tension is growing. Natalie, you're crazy. It's raining. Have you seen the radar? Some drivers are starting to wonder if they will even get their shot. That holds true for the number 36 amp fitness machine of Natalie Decker. She needs the weather to clear to allow for qualifying to happen. Since her DGM racing machine presented by Wawa has no owner points. Everyone's betting when we're gonna wreck out. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long trip. Back up by 95. Wondering what could have been. This team worked so hard leading up to coming here to build custom pedals, move the dash so I can reach it. All these things that are like, it's tedious work for this weekend, knowing that it could rain. That is scary, that the weather could easily just cancel our whole weekend and we have to go home. Typical Natalie, three, two days before a race, it goes from like very cheerful to still cheerful, but like it can change. She's always and still is very optimistic and bubbly, but at the same time, you can tell the nerves get to her because she really wants us. I feel like what a lot of fans don't understand is that my first time ever driving this race car was leaving pit road, going wide open, right next to the wall. That's crazy. We're, we're crazy. Race car drivers are crazy. So that alone, leading into practice, I have no idea how this car is going to feel. We have such little time in practice to get what we need out of this race car. And for me, it laps around the track that's so important and we only have so much time. And I'm not a rookie, but technically I'm a rookie. I've not made very many laps in an Xfinity car. And I feel like so many fans just forget. Practice felt amazing. The car was so good. As soon as I turned the steering wheel, I barely had to put any pressure on the wheel. It turned, it held on the line. Nothing felt crazy. It felt smooth. The car felt confident, and that made me confident as a driver. This car has the speed to make it into the race. Having this Hendrick motor, that is the key to this weekend. Now, these bigger teams will go out and practice and race in a pack and they will throw down some really killer lap times because when the more cars in a pack, the faster you go. And I'm out there all by myself doing single car runs and the car still showed so much speed. At one point we were like P13 on the board and that was in the middle of practice and that just showed how powerful this car was. We didn't wanna go in a pack in practice because we don't have a backup car. And there has been times at Daytona in practice people wreck. So we're not going to put ourselves in that situation. We're just going to focus on what we can control and focus on our single car speed because that's what matters. This car needs to be fast on its own because we do not have the owner points to get us into the show. We have to qualify in on time. We're walking in the garage. It's raining. The radar is not looking promising for anything. We're, we're hopeful and we're optimistic. All we can do is hope for a little window today and get qualifying in. We're happy to stay here until Tuesday, Wednesday if we have to to get the race in, but as long as we get qualifying in today, I think she'll be good. To be honest, sitting here right now, I have goosebumps thinking about walking in on qualifying day. When Derek and I were walking in to the garage, the garage is right next to the fan zone, and the fan zone is a party, so they have music blasting. And the song that was playing when we turned the corner to see my race car and my team was, If It's Meant To Be, It'll Be. And I look at Derek, it's a sign. It is a sign. I know it's raining right now and we qualify in two hours, but this is a sign. 
qualifying is happening. I know it, I can feel it. We're getting our shot that we need to make it into this race. My crew was talking to me and they said the only thing out of our control is the weather. And that is nobody's fault. And I remember it starting to lighten up. I feel like I can feel the sun on my skin. And the team owner, Mario, looks at me and he goes, I think we're going to have a shot. And right then and there, I knew it. I'm like, if he believes and I believe, this is happening. We are going to get this qualifying in and I'm going to be racing in this Xfinity race. Leaving pit road, she spun the tires a little bit. I watched it, I was a little nervous, but I knew the car was still fast. I crossed the start finish line, my qualifying lap is over. I shut the car down, and the radio is silent. Usually, right away, you cross the line, your crew chief, your spotter, someone comes over, they tell you your lap time, they tell you where you place on the board. It is silent for a whole lap. As I'm coming onto pit road, I finally hear from them. P9. You're locked in. This was your time, this was your lap. And I feel relieved, but I get out of the car, everyone's celebrating, we are excited, we are officially locked in. There are still cars to qualify. It could rain and it could still be all over. But in my head, I'm like, I have faith. I believe that we're gonna get through qualifying. We're in the show. I don't feel I don't feel as if it's gonna rain. I 100% believe we are in the race. Derek, on the other hand, I can tell he is tense and he is nervous, and he does not feel as we are in the show until he sees the results from NASCAR. But I'm like, no, we're in, we're in. Don't even bring that energy around me. I am happy. My team is happy. We're gonna go racing.